What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Edmonton Oilers and we're picking up where we left off here at free agency after a very strong draft and I did see a lot of people last video uh, already putting your in your uh, suggestions for the contest now generally we do that in this video because we still gonna sign guys we could still make trades so I saw actually a couple people who said flurry and we might not even get flurry so Anyway, so just bear in mind, it's usually we do it after the free agency once the lines are all sorted, and then you put in your prediction. So I'm going to mention that at the beginning of the video, so you guys, if you want to keep the same ones, you can just copy and paste them over to here, but yeah, it will, I, I might have to just check last video too, because there's a lot of people who mentioned it, some of them might not hear this or miss this or whatever, so I might have to look on both, but it would save me a lot of time if they're all in one video, so usually when we do that, it's uh, right here after free agency, and then we get the lines you know, we get the lines sorted out, and then you see what the lines are, then you make all the predictions. All right, so uh, clear that up, but I do like all the participation, man. It's great. It looks good. So I appreciate all that. Thank you, guys. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. Now, Marc-Andre Fleury was what I was thinking of, but there could be something else that we go for. Another thing someone mentioned is I can, I can go for Myers instead of Strawman, but I like Strawman a bit better. Uh... He's just bet. I don't know. He's just obviously well better overall, and I'm pretty sure he's quite a bit better defensively. 88, 89, and 87. Plus, he's got 90 discipline. Tyler Myers' discipline's lower. Defense isn't as good, and his offensive upside isn't as good either. So yeah, I think Strawman is just the better, much better fit. And I don't want to have to give Tyler Myers four years. Yeah, it'll probably uh no that well. Yeah, it doesn't increase as much, but still, I'm all, I'm only be paying like a couple hundred thousand more for a guy with all the with all the be, with the better upside. So yeah, he's Tyler Myers is a bit younger, only by three years, and the contract that we'd have Strawman on wouldn't put him in a position to decline. So take him until he's 30, 34, and then we could drop him or even trade him next year if we have some guys coming up or whatever. So yeah, I think I'm still gonna go after Strawman here. We have seven mil cap space. This will take up quite a bit of it. So we'll have to increase it to at least probably six if we want to guarantee ourselves to get them. But I'm going to try it. At, uh, we do need to save mon as much money as possible. New York, Minnesota, Colorado. I'm trying to think if one of those teams are good or good enough. Because we have to basically trade. We're going to trade Hamannick. I should. I could wait to trade Hamannick until we get this guy. But we do still need a top, another a lefty top six, I think, as well. Because Dolan should grow up to a top four this year. If he doesn't, well, we can get we can play the guy there until he gets it. Uh, the guy we signed, I'm talking about. This should be enough to grab this guy. But I should, if I want to play it safe, I should bump it up to six. Which you know what I think I'm gonna do because that plays it safe and with with the plan that I think I have that was suggested to me in Discord and the comments. Which, by the way, I had an idea for Discord. What would you guys think if starting next year? I wanted to get the Discord channel popping a bit more. I might have a separate channel that's all just for franchise mode talk on there. Or not a separate channel, but a little separate chat in inside the channel. And I might, whoever whoever has like, you know, some of the, the best ideas or the ideas that I choose to use more, I'll give you a special role inside the Discord of like assistant GM. You'll get a few extra privileges. You won't be able to ban anyone or anything. I don't know. I'm not even that well versed in Discord, so I don't even know if there's enough perks, like cool things that even matter or maybe your name's just a different color. But <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I was I was having some weird thoughts. I definitely want to make franchises as as interactive as possible and with next year with them being as popping as they should be with all the new features. I think it could be cool. So you guys can let me know about that. I like Gunnarsson. Holy crap, Gunnarsson. Look at that 90 discipline plus those defensive stats for a top 6 guy. And the price-wise is pretty damn good. I don't have to bump that up. I don't, probably wouldn't even have to bump that up since no one else is interested in him. He does want two years. I'm not a fan of giving them two years just because, oh, that bumps up quite a bit. So I might have to do two, and then I could still trade. But I can also hold on to him for another year because I will need another top six guy. Although, two defensive defensemen on the bottoms, or I don't know if that would work, but I don't actually have... Edler's two-way, but he's not that good defensively. Marinson might be all right, but I really like Gunnarsson like that. I don't want an offensive. I'd rather... Oh, hi, Dermot. Uh, unfortunately, his discipline's in the toilet. Yeah. Wow, okay, well... 
Nate Schmidt would be all right. Oh, he's got decent discipline. 87, 85, and 85. And he is top six, actually. And this is a guy who could be that in-between guy as I was talking about. He's 81. That's actually surprising that he's listed as top six to me. So this guy could be that in-between guy's top... Oh, that's... Never mind. That's way too much. I got to No. Yeah, I can't. I got to go for someone like Gunnarsson here. Because I think... I think Dolan might jump a bit in this offseason. He might not. Again, sometimes he doesn't grow at all the first year, but he will shoot up there like a weed. In, in, uh, in which case, I would like Schmidt if he doesn't grow. But if he does grow, then we need a better contract. And that would be Gunnarsson. So I'm going to bump it up slightly just in case someone else swoops in. I don't think they should. But two years at that price is still pretty good for a top six. Now, don't worry. That would, does kind of put us over. But it sh we should be alright. And I have a great idea for how we can get uh, the dude. Now, I was also, I was also thinking... I should sim up to make sure we sign him. It shouldn't. Oh no! My, yeah, it'll still tell me that. Well, I did offer the guy. I have. I have a really good feeling that I will get the top four guy. So I think I could trade Hamannik now and get that contract off my back. That's what I really need to do. And then I could sim up a bit and make sure we get him. If we don't get him, I should have time to sign someone. Or maybe not someone as good, but might be able to trade get someone else. A lot of people want Hamannik. Very surprising. Pittsburgh can afford him. So there we go. One year left, so let's just grab. There's no way we can get this first, right? No, no way. <laughs> that would be awesome if we could. Actually, we might be able to. I have a bunch of these fringe starters. Now, one of I'm going to use some of them to, to trade, obviously, but... The, uh, in the next trade, I mean, when I try to go for the goalie, I'll probably be packaging Hutton in with probably just two of those fringe starters if I can. Just for value. Holy crap. If I could trade Hamannick and a fringe starter for Pittsburgh first. It probably won't be a good first, but it's a first nonetheless. Damn, quite far off. No. <laughs> so I probably can't get a first for that. So all right. Let's just look for... They don't want to give up any of their early picks. Both All these guys are rebuilders. All right. Well... Oh, hello. Phone. Calm down. Um... Second or something? They don't want to give up seconds because, yeah. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Come on now. There, yeah, no way. I don't think I can even get a second for Hamannik. Hopeful. They will, Their first is on the... That might be too much value. Oh, yeah. Even with that French starter, there's no way. It is on the block, though, so... Maybe? I don't want to give up too much. I want to hold on to... Bruce. No way. There's zero chance. Unless, do I have any other garbage that I don't need? Possibly. <laughs> mm, not enough. Not enough to make it go through. Yeah, no, not a gun. All right, so a first is out the window. That would have been really, really tough to get. But that's definitely out the window. I can give, <laughs> I can give Hamannik back to Calgary. All right, let's do that. Um, do they want... No, okay, so screw it. I have to give it up to, like, someone with who's slightly better. Contender. They, had, they don't have freaking cap. I need to give it to, like, a hopeful if I want a second, I think. Yeah, I should be able to get a second. Yeah, okay, a hopeful. Yeah, that should work. And you know what? I might be able to get another later pick or so. Or a couple later picks. Not quite. Okay, maybe not at all. Maybe not even for the second straight up. That's interesting. I thought it'd go through. Damn it, Hamannik. Not even going to get me a second. Could have used a second there. All right. But like three, four, five, six, seven. That should be worth it, in my opinion. That's a lot of picks for just one player. So, all right. I don't get a second, but I still get a three, four, five. <laughs> I get a lot of picks. So, that's all right still. And now is, now is the time where we're going to want to stock up on these picks. Holy crap, I have enough picks for 2020. Yep, okay, so... <laughs> I don't think I need any more picks for 2020. That's a lot. I like five sevens right there. That's epic. Probably not even going to need that much. Probably even use some to trade up. But hey, if, we can, if we're able to scout some later stuff this year. But I do, I do think we should uh, definitely prioritize scouting some defensemen. Because our prospect for, for, for defensemen is not looking great. Larson's only going to be a top four. That's a pretty much guaranteed. Dolan should still get up to be amazing. Nurse should be a solid top four. Yeah, but 85, maybe 86. I still want to look for that righty 
uh, defenseman. Now we could now we could still use. We could also chuck in this dude's value and like try to go after. Uh, Arizona's dude Grewal. Because that's who I really wanted, or was he not? Wow, what the fucking team was he on? I, I'd have to remember who the hell he got drafted by now. Who the heck was it? Oh man, I thought it wasn't. It was was it not? I thought it was Arizona. Holy crap! I'm losing it now. I compl. I. All right. Well, I forgot who the hell he got drafted by. Was it? No, it wasn't Colorado. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be pissed now. It wasn't Dallas. Maybe it was Detroit. Yes, it was Detroit. So oh my god, yeah. So we could always, you know, they don't want to give him up, but we could trade this dude, like the other the guy we drafted late first round, to try to obtain this guy. It'll be tough. But cause the blocks aren't matching. They don't even have this guy signed. I would sign him, obviously. But we could try something like that. Like, what? I don't think this will go through, but what do they say? It isn't sufficient. So we need to chuck in extra stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it or not, but it might be. I mean, this is yet another sniper. And we already have Wallstrom coming up. We already have Pooley Arby coming up. Wallstrom can play left wing side. Like, I, 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 was, I was actually probably considering that for him to put him on his one timer side because he's going to take a shit ton of shots. Or keep him on the right side. I don't know. But that's always an option to pick up Greewall if there's not anything amazing. But I still think we should scout for uh for those now the thing i was thinking about for the goaltender i i don't think i want to sign him right now now he now the reasoning or trade for him right now i will trade for him but in this video most likely if i want to see if he jumps though because we're going to need a starting goaltender that's just we're going to need a starting goaltender this guy's going to need to jump up for us uh to work as a starting goaltender he's only 80 overall at 21 I need to see if he's going to jump, I think. I I just would feel like r r way more comfortable with that. I need to see if he'll jump before I pull the trigger on, on a trade. Now, that, that will mean we miss out on Marc-Andre Fleury no matter what now. But I do think that's a lot safer. And I do like that guy's contract. It's a very low contract. And if he turns out to be a starting goaltender, we'll have a starting goaltender on entry level. And that will buy us some time for the cap to go up and for our own contracts to start looking better. And that, I think, is would be pretty good for us. I think that's a smart idea. So before we sim some days here, we also want to check out um, any possible prospect dudes. Unfortunately, these guys are all tendered, so can't get anything for free there. But anything else, any prospect types, not really. Well, there's a couple top nines at 20 years old and, young, and younger, so we might as well pick up some of these. Two-way forward. Look at those defensive stats. I like you. We'll have to offer him, obviously, full contracts, but we have some space right now. We didn't, <laughs> Last I checked, we were very low on centers, so those two guys, they're all right. Yeah, they're not really ideal 20 years old, below 70 overall, but Roenberg, look at that defensive awareness. I think I'll sign him. I, I've had him before. He's never... Qu oh, wait, wait. Why didn't I decreasing it? They might freaking all reject because I, I always... I'm in the habit of doing that for my, uh, <laughs> for my own prospects. Okay, we could also get Zetterlund, whose defense isn't as great, but he's like got really good discipline, pretty damn good offense. So we'll sign a few of these dudes. <laughs> we might lose a couple right now. And probably want to sign a defenseman. Maybe just Ogara. Yeah, holy crap, his defense is good. Because you know what, I don't really need... Well, could use some prospects. You know what, this... Nah. He's just an AHL dude. So that's all right. Two years, that's fine. Takes until he's done growing. I do need to get some guys under contract. Now, I could get this guy as well. 62 at 20. Highly unlikely he becomes anything, but he will be a, just a guy to have in the system and growing. So I'm gonna do that as well. Max contract, sure, but whatever. We're not we're not in the at the uh, in the position where we're gonna have to be kind of struggling to. Uh... What am I trying to say? Uh... To, to to have like too many unsigned guys or whatever have too many prospects we're, we're gonna get the next couple years will put us close to that mark but we're nowhere near that yet i don't think so 
I think that is good enough for right now. We're going to advance a few days. This, yeah, it does suck to lose out of Mark under Fleur. Don't get me wrong. But I do like the idea of Fitz Fitzpatrick a lot better. He's a lot younger, has a lot more. He's not like, obviously, Mark. we don't know what Mark under Fleur is going to be. He could drop all the way down to an 84, 85. And then, you know, that's we only get him for one year. This guy is going to grow. All right, so I think we got everyone right there. Maybe one of them rejected. I didn't check all enough, so I'm going to actually have to double check there because... I didn't actually see all of them. Uh, Suomela, right? Was No, I wasn't signing him. No, so I got all of them. Cool. I got all of them. Good. I just wanted to make sure because, yeah, I was kind of clicking through that blindly. <laughs> and I remembered I offered some guys under. So, okay. Interesting. You can offer guys under in normal free agency even uh, if they want those two-way deals. So, that's good to know. Let's see if we get the two guys we did. Okay, that's Ogar. Never mind. Uh, but we did get Gunnarsson. That's big. And we did get Strawman. That's even bigger. There we go. We got the two guys that we needed. And I think we still have a little bit of cap. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I can sign one or two fourth line dudes, which we do need. And also, tra trading that goaltender will help us in that regard. But we sh there should still be some of those guys available. I say that kind of hesitantly. Oh, we might actually have to. I might have to take a risk and pull the trigger on that trade now. Even though I don't want to, I want to see where that guy's going to grow to. I know someone said I should hold on to Talbot and have, or Hutton, damn Talbot, I could hold on to Hutton, but I, I think I would need that value to make that trade go through, though we do have those three fringe starters now, I still don't think that's enough to make all, all of it go through, but hey, I mean, if I did have two starters, I would be probably okay with that, have them switch up, split time pretty evenly, depending on the dude's growth, yeah, but then Brassois, I was hoping to have him up as my backup. Oh, I don't know. All right, hold on. Let me just check. Well, let me check what I was thinking of first. Yeah, we need a lot of... Yeah. We still need a lot of... <laughs> depth dudes. Yeah, I don't even know if we'll be able to get any of these good, like, third-liner guys this year. Like, I'd love to revamp my bottom six, but, dude, cap is tough. Right now, I, it's, uh, I never noticed how bad a 12.5 and 8.5 hurts you early on, but it really does. You have, like, no no money. I'm looking down here, like, looking at some third line guys. It's like, I can sign one. That's about it. They're not even really good. So, all right. right, let's. I got to check for them, though, because I do want to get more defensive uh, forwards down there. We have to. Yeah, man, already getting down to the fourth line, guys. If Shahan isn't bad, how much does he want? That's not that much, and he only wants a year. You know what? I think I should go for Riley Shahan right here. And he's listed as fourth line. Those aren't bad stats. They're slightly better. And as a 2A forward, yeah, 83, 84, 84 is pretty damn good. 80 face-offs as well. That's all. And he doesn't want that much. So I can, I'll probably offer him exactly that, and he'll sign. So I'll, I'll do that, and I could probably get one more. I don't want to get a depth or I'd rather get a third, a third liner here. I don't know if there will be one though. One that I can really use. No, I like Raffle, but not for that. Donato's tender, so that doesn't work. Nope, not good enough. Furland, Grinder, 83, 83, 86. Stick checking is good. Only once a year. That's pretty good actually. But let's see what else. Where is that Tom Wilson? the hell 83 80, uh, is that discipline no <laughs> nah his discipline's pretty bad the higher up i go though less good defensively higher price so all right Ugh, there's actually slim pickings here furlan's probably the best one here even though his discipline's pretty bad still 83 83 and 86 is still better than tom wilson i think yeah slightly and his discipline's slightly better Hmm. Still pretty tough. All right, well, it's only a year, so let's get him. Again, same, just get him for that same price. And I think, now, it, it'll show it as over, but it shouldn't be over because of the players that we have. Could be wrong, but a lot of two-way deals that we have, so it shouldn't actually put us over. So we can sign two of those guys. That makes us slightly better. Once we make the trade for the goalie, we can trade or sign more i don't know if how much more will be available but there might be with the way it's looking with how many 
how many guys are down here unsigned and within role playing situations? There could be, could still be some guys after we pass through normal free agency. So that's kind of what I got to hope for there is that when we have a bit more cash available that we can sign a couple more. If not, then we can't. But, uh, oh yeah, that's the renewal. Hall accepted that renewal. So good. Hall accepted the renewal. That took a while. Yeah, didn't we sign? Yeah, interesting. That took longer than the normal free agents. That's weird. Okay. Come on. I hate this advanced day feature. It's so slow. Please be better in NHL 19. Because I don't want to just go to the calendar. I think it would take the same amount of time if we went to the calendar and simmed up a few days. Ferland rejected. Ah, oh, shit. So he went to Minnesota. We got Shahan though. But yeah, we did lose out a bit. So someone else did offer him a contract. And probably maybe a bit more or something. Okay, well, we still have three mil to work with here. Or so it says. Could go for the fourth liner and use some other... No, he's not. He's really not that good. Could grab... Oh, four teams interested in Wilson now. So we'd have to go up. And it looks like a lot of these guys are starting to... Get picked up on here. We don't... Ugh. Yeah, we're actually running out. Slept Chef's tendered. Ugh. Damn. All right. Well, there's really nothing else that's that good here. <laughs> it's really bad pickets here, man. There's really nothing. He's got decent defensive stats, but he's a sniper. How's Jamie McGinn? Oh, there we go. That's better. He's a lefty, too, so we can play on either side. He is listed as depth, though. That's... Well, I might have to play a depth guy in a higher role or just have a guy to play there because... Yeah. Oh, wait. Kruger is actually really good, as I recall. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's get Kruger. It's another fourth liner, but I don't want to give him two years, though. I just can't. Yeah, he doesn't. Let's bump him up slightly so we can get Kruger. That'll help us. We might be able to sign one more guy. JT Brown. I always like having... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, you don't need shot blocking. JT Brown would be all right. That gives us another right winger. No, not Hoodler. Roussel. No. Probably just go for JT Brown there. We'll have a lot of kind of in-between guys, but they can fill in roles right now. And that's just how it's going to have to be. There's not that much here, but we still need a... I, st I still feel like we just need to upgrade that bottom six there. Yeah, none of these. Okay, so let's go for probably JT Brown. 83 and 84 is not bad. It's better than anything else here. I was trying to see Upshaw. Yeah, way better. All right, let's go for Brown here. Doesn't want too much, so... That should get him. All right, we'll do that. Okay, so not exactly what we I would love to get, but I have to kind of sign him now because they're going quickly. It, the, all, all that's going to be left of those depth, depth guys anyway. I'd rather get my the, my picks right now than what was was left. So we won't, aren't able to get like the slightly better guys, but whatever. It's we, it's a process here. We got. I think we're going to have to be a little bit patient on that front. Just need a little bit more patience, which is why the main reason I was told, maybe wait, not go for Marc-Andre Fleury. Because, yeah, it looks great, but we don't know how much he's going to drop. Stuff like that. All right, so that should be everything that we need right now. If we take a look at what our team's going to look like, our, our bottom six is going to look like, oh, shut up. Kyra losing morale because I, I thought you were a third liner, dude. Did that change again? Okay, whatever. So, yeah, our forward core, first line, second line. Third line is kind of up in the air right now. I guess Kyra did drop down to fourth line. Whatever. All right. Well, we could have. We might have to go with a third line scoring line. But we do have a few of these guys: Brown, Shahan, and Kruger. Plus, we still have Cassian. We also, still have Ryan White. So we might have some fourth liners on our third liners. But we will be able to start getting those defensive type players in there. Defensive core. Again, not very strong. But it'll probably be Nurse Larson. Hopefully, Strawman and Dolan, and then. Gunnarsson and TVR and then Grive for depth. So that's in that. And then we'll depend depending on what happens here, we could get rid of Hutton or keep Hutton and just get the other guy and trade away these if we can figure out a way to swing that. We do have a lot of picks this year. We could afford to give some up. So yeah, we could actually hold on to Hutton here, even if 
So we, in that case, should we trade for him now since we're going to hold on to Hutton? Or should I still... No, you know what? I should still wait for the jump because maybe we don't want to hold on to Hutton. And we might not have the money either, depending. Because while it says we have money, we might need to bring some guys up and it could put us over cap. So you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm still going to wait. I think it's a smart thing to do to wait. And uh, we're going to sim up here, start get, maybe get the Lions taken care of. Uh, probably not the Lions taken care of. Just, just going to jump up and see if he got a jump. So I'll see you guys then. All right. So first things first, before I even look at our lines, I need to go check on St. Louis and see if their they're tendy got a jump like I think he should and would really help us out. And we'll sort of affect if I want to. He did. Yep. He got up to an 83. Perfect. And he should be actually be listed as a starter. So now the question... No, he's actually listed as a backup. Okay, well, then I think I want to hold on to Hutton. I want him to split time pretty evenly, then, if he's still listed as a backup. Yeah, I think that's just a smart thing to do. So, okay, let's go for Fitzpatrick here. And what we can throw in is all three of these fringe starters and probably some extra picks if we need to. So this likely won't go through. Uh, luckily, they don't have these guys. They don't want these guys. If they had these guys on the blocks, they would keep telling me we're, you're sending us the same player to fill a single role. Since they're not on the block, we could use their value um, in any way we choose. So three fringe starters, I think that's good. <laughs> it's not a fair trade, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't match the block. It's not really up to snuff. But we have so many picks that we can afford to give some up. Probably just some of these later ones. Oh, God. Okay, let's see. There we go. Oh, okay, no, it's backwards. Whatever. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of sixes and sevens. It'll probably take higher picks. We have a couple threes. They don't want the threes. They want the fours. We might want some of those fours. Let's try to throw in, like, two sixes, two sevens, or something like that. Let's give them back their own seven and their own six. And who else? Who do we think is going to do good? Probably New Jersey. Actually, we took away Hall from them. Hmm. No one. All right, we'll throw in a six and a seven first. Yeah, the value just isn't there. Okay. All right. They really don't. I, I'm guaranteeing you that they really don't want to give up Fitzpatrick. Which makes a lot of sense. It might have to be a three here. I'd rather it not, but it might have to be. So in Vancouver's four here. Okay. <laughs> this might be tough, but I again, we might even have to just give up the... Uh, Give up the give up Hutton. It just might not work out. But I'm gonna try some picks here first. Third, I'm not gonna give. I don't think I want to give him a second. That's a lot of value. Let's try a third in there, and then maybe some other stuff if they don't go for this. Oof, three and a four, still worth though. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, give him both Vancouver's. Come on now. That should go through. Really? Okay, well, the triple fringe starter value might not be enough here. I already had a three in there. Ugh. A second. I really didn't want to have to do this, but it is sort of worth it. It's only a starter, but th these were free, free value picks right here. They were all drafted late round, so okay. Wow, still not. I don't even know if I can do this. They're totally... Yeah, they don't want to give it up. If they don't want this second, what the hell can I do? That's kind of crazy, man. Who do they want? Okay. They want some of these dudes. Benson. Depth. Trash. Okay. Two years left. I don't really need you. I mean, I could use you in the AHL. That's about it, though. Raddy's gone one year. I did just sign him, but I don't actually... Well, AHL again. Ah! I can play Kajula down if I want to use Benson's value. All right, let's throw Kajula in. He's matching blocks. See what they say to that. Ugh. I don't know, man. I have to probably give up a lot more than I want to here. But it might just have to be how it goes. Wow. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's just a lot. Like, I'm trying to get some blocks here to match, but. Uh, 
That's a lot, man. Now, Vancouver's second out of more value. Or, sorry, New Jersey's second out of more value. Quite far off. I, I don't know. It might, again, we might have to just chuck it. And might, we might have to trade Hutton right here. That just, there might not be a way around it. <laughs> I would love to not, but there's just, we don't really have any other value from any other source besides McLeod, maybe. They don't want McLeod. Plus, he's actually growing pretty well. And the way he might... Oh my god, his defense is going to be trash, though. And I'm not going to need you in the top six. You know what? I might trade McLeod. His defense is not growing well at all. I mean, 69 awareness and you're already 65 overall. His offense is going to look good, but I don't think I'm going to use this guy in the top six at all. You know what? All right. Screw it. Let's throw McLeod in there now. I, I'm not going to need him. I'm looking at him the way he's growing, and I just don't see it. And a guy like this will be a dime a dozen in these later years anyway. Those top six yellows are going to be easy. All right, let's see what they, if they want. Okay. Value's not sufficient. But now we should be able to chuck in those freaking fringe stars and be okay. I'm going to chuck them in one by one and t until this goes through. I don't need these goddamn fringe stars. All right. <laughs> we're going to just make... We're going to force this trade through. The value's going to look horribly skewed, but it won't matter because these, these fringe stars are basically useless. There we go. Okay, fine. You know what? We didn't have to give up our goalie. Now, we still have Brassois. So, he won't be able to be... I might as well trade Brassois now at some point. I could have actually shove him into that deal, but... Now, now we're going to have Fitzpatrick and Hutton split in time pretty well. Skinner and... Uh, Hallin oh, my God. Hallinan grew. Skinner and Hallinan as our... Starter and backup in the AHL, and we don't need Brassois anymore. It's all right. I can just ship off Brassois to somewhere now. Uh, okay, Canadian. <laughs> of course the Canadians want him. He's French. And, oh, what? You're not going to use Fukale? You dicks? What do you want this guy for? Seriously. No, seriously. What do you want him for? Whatever. I don't care. Did I? No, I didn't have to trade any picks. I could use another four. And a f I need to spread some of these out, man. Oh, they don't want to give those up. Screw it. <laughs> Montreal would have too many. Yeah, you idiots. Why do you guys want goalies? You have too many. Can I get a third for him? No way. There's zero chance I get this. That'd be hilarious if I did, though. No. Damn. <laughs> Four and a five, though, I should be able to get. No! Four? Okay, yep, I can get a four. That's alright for Brassois. That's, yeah, cool. Okay! So I think those are the trades that we're going to, uh, all the trades we're going to make here. I'm going to start getting the lines sorted out now and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So I think I got these lines sorted out now and I like the growth that I'm seeing. So we got Hall, McDavid and Dreisaitl first line. Going to give them the full year together. See how they do. Cause they seem to do pretty well at the end there. Again, we can always try some different combinations. We can move down Dreisaitl and, uh, move up Nuge or even Neil or something. Um, it actually, the suggested lines were... Hall, McDavid, Neal, and then Dreisaitl, Nuge, Pugliarvi, which I wasn't, I didn't agree with. So, as you can see, I switched them up a bit here. Um, I do like what my second line combo is. Uh, all defensive type players. That's, we've seen it work for AIs. <laughs> we've seen that work for AIs on their second line. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's a much better second line now. Pugliarvi's ready. He's got great offensive stats. Decent defenses. So that's not amazing. Uh, the Nuge, obviously, great offensive, great defensive. And uh, James Neal, decent defensive, decent offensive. He doesn't really, you know, he's not really amazing in any category. But all, I think I think it could work. Now, our bottom six, while overall-wise not looking exceptionally strong, they are more defensive-minded now. Uh, we got Chaira, uh, Sheehan, and Ratty, he's kind of a fill-in right now. Um, some bit of extra scoring, and I got him on the power play on the point. Um, again, we had we had to put some, you know, we couldn't have all defensive players. We just didn't quite have the cap. Fourth line of uh, Brown, who is listed as depth, but I'm playing him anyway. Kruger and White. Now, that's a very, very gritty fourth line there. Very defensive, very good. So, I mean, it looks... You know, looks can be deceiving, but I think it looks better defensively, and help. Hopefully, that helps. Now, uh, we did get a bit of growth out of Dolly. He's up to an 82 now at age 19. He'll be he'll be just fine. 
he'll he'll still be getting up probably towards 90. Uh, yeah, so he's actually listed as top four, which or yeah, top four, which is exactly what we needed. So now he's playing with Strawman, Nurse, and Larson together. Larson's up to an 87. Um, I think he he was a bit demoralized, but I did he did he was only 86, so I think he did grow a bit more. So 87, that's solid top four. I can hold on to him for a while. Gunnarsson and TVR. TVR is demoralized right now. That should reset, hopefully soon. All right, so here's our power play. Top unit, Larson Dolan uh, on the point from with that main line. Second line, same thing. Nurse on the point with Ratty. He's got a bit of a shot, so we'll see. Four man looks, you know, pretty standardish. How you kind of would expect it to be. Uh, penalty kill. Shahan White, Larson Nurse, Kruger, and Nuge. Kruger's got better face offs, which is why he's in the middle. And Strawman Gunnerson. And three man, same combos, just with Shahan Nuge now. Nuge is a penalty killer. I got to give it to him. All right, so four on four. Again, pretty similar. Now, I went with Neil here because I wanted Nuge to center with Pooley Arvey on that last one. Three on three, same combos here besides Dolan on the top unit with Hall and McJesus. Because, yeah, let's help. Let's carry Dolan a bit. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Extra attacker, McDavid, Nuge. They're on separate lines. Uh, shootout lineup, very similar to how it was last year. And goalies going Hutton and Fitzpatrick. Should split time relatively well. I might have to go to uh, manual rotations at some point if, like, one of them's getting more starts, but he's performing, you know, more poorly or something like that. We'll see. But with the roles, it, it what, what was weird, it started with uh, Fitzpatrick in the starting slot and Hutton not, even though the roles are slightly different. So it might prioritize Fitzpatrick. But if he does well, then I won't care. It all just depends. So uh, we're going to have to use Kajula as depth here. Not incredible, but... Hopefully we don't have too many injuries, and obviously Griba, our defensive depth. So we're in great shape right now. I think I think this team might be. I think we're a bubble team now. I definitely think we we we're a bubble team. I think we have a, a definite chance to make the playoffs. It just depends on how we do. Really, that's what it comes down to. I'll show you guys a bit of the AHL lines too. That Sharov guy. I'm loving how this guy is. You know, he's. I think we just drafted him. Yeah, we just drafted him. He's already up to a 74. He started at 72, so already jumped a bit more. I'm going to put him on the first line because of that 86 awareness. And he's going to be playing with Cassian, who will protect him. And Benson, who's uh, pretty decent. He's got an amazing... Look at Benson's shot. <laughs> really freaking good shot. And Cassian's, you know, he's got a shot too. Not too bad. So that should work. I'm going to have Auberg, uh, Mesherin, and uh, Wallstrom on the second line. Now Wallstrom's going to get first top line power play with uh, Sharov, because that is going to be filthy. He's on his one-time side, and Benson is as well. Ogara and Bear. What kind of name is that? That's amazing. I'm, I'm getting you out of there, though, because I had... Oh, wait, yeah, I still actually didn't... I still got Jones and some of these other guys. I actually didn't optimize this as much as I wanted to. Oops. I just focused... <laughs> I wanted to make sure Wallstrom was in there. Give me one sec. Yep, alright, so I'm just going to switch a couple things real quick. I think they're all lefties, huh? Yep, typical. We don't actually need to switch. I actually could switch out three. I'm going to do it. Alright, sorry, I'm just going to do this real quick here. I just want to get the guys who have chances to grow in here. It might, I know it might hurt us slightly, but... I'd rather get guys with potential to you know, grow in there. So now we have a bunch of top six dudes, which would be better. Skinner, Hallen, and good. And everything else is solid. All right. So there we go. Just wanted to show you guys all that. And I think we're ready to get Sim in here. I'm I'm excited about these lines. I think they look a lot better. I think they're I think we have a shot here. A goalie and defense situation still a bit, you know, murky, but you never know what happens. The sim sim could be weird sometimes. You never know. So yeah, our chemistry starts off good. 74%. So if we don't Ho, ho, uh, screw ourselves over horribly early on we should have a good shot here so just making sure there's nothing else i need to do and i don't think there is time to get going here with the sim let's see how this edmonton oilers team slightly revamped now a bit more of a less of just playing certain players in places now it's more of, oh wait is that okay that's throwing me off so it starts here there we go hold on <laughs> Am I tripping? No, no, I'm right. Okay. It's just the the freaking starting time is weirds me out. Okay, whatever. Let's go here. So I'm 
might not be able to get that last dang game because it's they got games back to back on the on the month's end and month's beginning and that triggers my OCD and I can't sim onto a game. That's the, no, just that's just a rule. All right, so we want to really scout defensemen here and actually probably scout defensemen everywhere before we do anything else. That's honestly what I'm gonna do. We need defense and we need goaltenders. We're gonna scout defensemen and goaltenders. I don't think I'm gonna touch forwards at all. So I'm gonna scout defensemen. Three weeks, probably goalies two weeks in all the Canada places. Uh, we need we need to get these places scouted out. There's just no way around it. We have to find a goalie. I mean, we, we might get lucky, but we have to find good defensemen. We have to find good goalies. We need this draft year to be a, a year like that. We can skill, still scout some forwards in certain places. But mainly, we want to check out where some good defensemen will be. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and goaltenders. Goaltenders mainly. That's really what we want is goaltenders. So we lose game one of the season. Got two games against the Sharks here. All right, that's just a minor injury to our red top six guy. Shut him out 4 nothing, then come back with another win 3-2. to two. I like the scoring so far. It's a little bit back and forth early, but that's still pretty good. All right, so we got that. I'm going to do goalies for two weeks. Let's check them out. Come on, guys. Win some games. Get some goals. Uh, Hyra has been injured with back spasms. Well, that's all right. Now we got Kajula to jump in. Now we have a third line scoring line. <laughs> Ish. Shan's not that great, but he's in there. So there we go. Kajula in there. Nice little win right there. Then we come back with a tough loss, but all right. Can we answer back with a win? Dallas is not a very good team. Hilariously, they just had one of the most outstanding years last year for their main dudes. There we go. Nice W against them. Loss against Philly. Come back with a win, though. We're, we're there. We're, we're kind of getting there, I think. The Lions are looking better. We have more of a of a theme to our, our team. I was trying to think of a, a good word for it. Uh, it's not even theme. It's, mm, it's going to piss me off. I can't think of the word I'm thinking of. Uh, uh, structure. There we go. We have a better team structure, you know, scores in the top six defensive guys in the bottom six, a decent, uh, you know, defensive core is okay. All right, let's wait till Kyra's fully healed. Oof lost there, but we got, you know, the four goals for, so we, our scoring is 10 times better this year already. I know it. I know when I look at that, we're going to be doing pretty good. I'm, I'm using Kyra because he's a defensive guy. That's I want to keep that going. I want to keep defensive forwards down there. Obviously, Tyratty is not, but whatever. So, we're I mean, we're still, but we're performing as I expected, kind of like that bubble team. Here right now, ooh, we're starting to drop some games. Not able to score either. Shan had a minor injury. All right, time to score, guys. Ugh, another tough loss. We get a point, but no! Come on, what happened? We were doing so good there. Damn, we dropped a bit. It's all right, though. We just have to live with it. It's Again, we might not make the playoffs, but we're going to do our best. I'll do two weeks anyway for goalies there. Yeah. Oh, another tough loss. Yeah, damn it. We start off so promising, and now we're just starting to drop. Oh, come on. What happened to the goal scoring? We were absolutely wrecking face, and then we just stopped. What the hell, guys? Oh, that's frustrating. We were doing so freaking well in the beginning. We were scoring goals. Drysaddle's leading points. We're, we're right... Oh my, we have a wild card spot somehow with an under 500 record. But we have more games played than all those teams. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna last there. Damn, man. I thought I thought we had a shot. I'm not gonna lie. I thought we had a good sh Okay, what? Our goals four is down to there. How? What? That makes no sense. We were scoring. I don't I guess all those games with like one or two goals really fucked us there. Oh uh, what? How is the power play that low? What is going on here? Yikes, man. What the hell? <sighs> All right. Well, what's the issue? I might try dry settle second line and try to mix things up here. First line's doing okay. I feel like they should be scoring way more with the freaking with what they got available to them. I mean that it's not bad. I don't. They just need more volume of scoring. I don't know why they can't get more than that. That's so weird. This line should be wrecking face. Like, absolutely killing it. And they're only a plus one without... 
They should. I don't know why they don't get more points. <laughs> I'm looking at this line, and this this line should be fucking scoring at will. And power play is really hurting. Oh, the second unit is not doing much at all, except for Ratty. Ty Ratty's got two goals from the point. Pooley RV. Neil's doing okay, but how do you guys only got one point, man? Huh. It seemed a lot better at first, but then we just completely dropped off. But I don't, I'm trying to think of ways I could really fix this, and I'm not seeing any. Hmm. I don't know. Second line needs to produce a bit more, yeah, definitely, but... Hmm. Alright, well, that's doing okay. Dolan has no power play points. I should probably just take him off the first unit then. Larson's got one, but only Nurse has another one. I don't know. How are goaltenders doing? Okay, Hutton's getting the majority of the starts and he's playing better, so alright. Keep it like that. Fitzpatrick's doing okay. But still not great. It's hard to, we, It's hard for us to keep... But the thing that's weirding me out is that we're not scoring as much. I feel like we should be scoring with this freaking team. I mean, what else do I need? Are you serious? Like, we, we are built pretty freaking well now. So I don't know. Maybe it's... I mean, our power play's in the toilet. I don't know how it's that low. But because it's almost identical to how it's been. So why is it now all of a sudden choosing not to produce... That's what weirds me out. Our power play was incredible last year. And it's this, it's literally almost the same as it was last year. The only difference is Ty Ratty on the point. But he's he's doing well. He's got two goals and three points. He's better than the other point guys. So, what is the issue? P penalty kill's fine. I'm not touching that. But why is our power play so low? That is having a lot to do with our goals for. But at, it, even at the same time. Maybe I need Drysaddle centering that second unit and move up like Neil or something onto the on the top unit. I I really don't know. <laughs> Again, just I don't get why this team doesn't score. We have I mean a first line of Drysaddle, Hall, and McDavid. That they should be point a game minimum. These guys, look at their offensive stats. Look at their, these guys are point a game minimum now, man. And I don't understand why they're not here in this. I'm looking at the, I'm trying to consider the pacing that they're on. I mean, second line, not quite on pace for 50 points each now. That's obviously not good. We need them to be third line is, oof. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to find ways that this can be corrected or fixed. But we just struggle to score. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. Huh. Well, we need we need a f that power play needs to get better. That's for sure. If our power play got better, our goals for it gets better. Def easily. But also our 5 on 5 could be a lot better. Our first line, man. I don't know. Why doesn't this first line do better? It's the biggest question ever. So you know we could move him down. We could try kneel back up there on the on the on the five on five. Or just, you know, try something here. Like try something like that on the power play. Try to spread it out a bit or get better combinations. Something. I don't know. So, like, maybe that would be good, but then we don't really have a shooter on this line, really. 45 shots only for Pooley RV, 46 for you, yeah, that's, then we really don't, we lack a shooter besides Ty Ratty. I don't know, that's, it's interesting. We, we need more shooters on our team, that's for sure. Unfortunately, Pooley RV doesn't seem to be like, I can't wait for Wallstrom to come up. Because Wallstrom's a shooter, and we need more shooters on this team. Really, all we have for shooters is Hall and McDavid, and they're on the same line, and they're... I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I just, we just... 
not enough shots from a lot of people here. Neil takes a lot of shots, though. So, I mean, you would think that he would do better on that line. But now, it's like we're going to stack one power play with all the shooters. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. But our power play is horrible. So, I really don't know what to do. Huh. Well, I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. What the hell should we do for that power play? And why isn't our team scoring? Why, why do you think that this team is not scoring like they should be? I think we're a lot better offensively than this game is giving us credit for. But the game obviously doesn't feel the same way. So, what can we possibly do? Even for the 5 on 5s, do we try something like this out? That dry side will try to carry these guys a bit more. I don't know. It's basically replacing the same player. With, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I could spread them out like this. Try dry settled on that second line. And maybe that's the ticket. Maybe that's the answer. We need to spread out some of our center core. Try to exploit some matchups. Maybe that's what we need to do. So we could try that. and But we need better scoring overall. So 5-on-5 five and five power play. Ideas. Let them fly, guys. Because we're in a spot of bother right now. I'm not going to lie. We're in a pretty rough spot. I like that our top four is... Okay, good. TVR already jumped back up, so that's nice. Top six. You know, it's not bad for what our team is. Only being a minus one in the top six when you're not really with many scores. Only being a minus one with our record, that's pretty damn good. So, all right. Well, suggestions. Let them fly, guys, because uh, we started off so good. We started off so good. I was so excited. And then all of a sudden, we just nosedived out of nowhere. We just took a fat nosedive. All right, well, let's check progress reports before we end it here. Hopefully, we can see Wallstrom jumping up. We need some more growth from Wallstrom. Kyra, oh, Kyra's statistical minus is good. Good for you. Why? You're a dick. Uh, pluses for him. Yep, pluses. Uh, yeah, statistical. I think this is all statistical. Yep. Pugliari, though, that should be natural. Yeah, one to a stick checking. Not that he really needs that. Wallstrom, Wallstrom, Wallstrom. Yep, there we go. Okay, he's already grown up to a 73 slash 74. He's already 10 modifications. This guy's growing like a friggin' weed. I love it. Uh, offensive awareness now at 83. Passing at 83. Perfect. Shot. No improvements to the shot yet, but he should. he's going to have a very good shot by the time he gets up. Hopefully his wrist shot gets better. It's nice to have a good slap shot, but as a forward wrist shot, man. Really going to need that. Well, I'm, I'm very excited. Let's see how he's doing so far. 22 points in 25 games play. There we go. Set. <laughs> Hilariously, no power play goals, but he's got seven assists. So, hey, we'll take it, I guess. Completely opposite from last year. Whatever. That's hilarious. That means five on five. He's only goal scoring. <laughs> he's got only three assists, five on five. Hype. Wallstrom hype. All right. So, he's on his way up. I'm thinking he should probably, may probably crack the roster next year. If he keeps growing at the pace he is. Plus to jump in the offseason, I think this guy cracks the ro a roster next year. Ends up is should start off third, maybe even second line. Uh, this guy's growing off contract. That's good. Uh, again, we could always you know use this guy's trade value to go for that Greewall guy. It's always a possibility. Beret's growing a little bit. That's good. I don't know if he'll get up to seventy by this year, but at least he's growing. We still have all these fringe strutter dudes. So keep that in mind. But yeah, um, I like the growth. We the guy that the guys that we need to grow are growing. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. <laughs> but other than that, we are still having trouble scoring for some reason. So again, give me all your suggestions about that. Uh, any moves to make, roster moves, uh, line changes, anything, any and all ideas. Let them fly, guys, because really disappointed i we start off so good and then we just fell right back down so all right uh let me know what you guys think remember to leave that like and i'll see you guys in the next one if watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you be sure to go over there on twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there the links to both are in the description